In this video for the Beacon Hill dollhouse construction, I'm going to go over the first floor interior. After completing the third and second floor interior, I began work on the first floor. Additional videos cover the third and second floors. The areas of exposed wall surface are painted in the same pale blue paint as the rest of the house interior. Since paneling is to be installed on the first level entry, the paint was only required at the upper third portion of the walls. With the door frames in place, the paneling could be constructed. The area at the first level stairway was difficult to install and often required taking pictures just to see if the section was installed correctly. There is a separate video for the paneling, but these were constructed from plastic binders and coffee stirrers which were painted white. The panels were installed on all the walls of the first level landing. To coordinate with the stairwell paneling, I decided to treat the living room window bays in white paneling and first painted the lower section of the bay with white semi-gloss paint. Next, coffee stirs were used to create the panel effects below the windows. The bay window trim was then attached and on the upper floors I only wallpapered the back walls but for the living room I chose to paper all the walls in a William Morris design. The wallpaper was printed on lightweight cardstock and treated with Mod Podge. After the paper was dry this was cut to fit and attached with glue stick on all the walls. The door frame and crown molding was installed over the paper. The bay windows were trimmed with baseboard strips vertically and a decorative wood trim strip used along the horizontal header. Next, the baseboards and fireplace were installed. Electric logs were connected in the fireplace. For the kitchen, the walls were first painted in the pale blue and crown molding was installed. Wallpaper was sized and printed so that this could be used like wainscoting around the lower portion of the walls. The door frame and baseboard moldings was installed to overlap the edges of the paper. Additional chair rail trim using the same baseboard trim was installed above the paper. The window trim was installed to finish the room. The rooms were completed by installing lighting. An electrical light fixture was installed in the kitchen and battery light fixtures were installed in the dining and living rooms. These rooms were pre-wired for electrical fixtures, but I accidentally ordered battery fixtures. Thanks for watching.